Danelle Nashville's Gospel Diva, and you're watching Mike Check. Thank you so much for joining us each and every Sunday morning, as you do. Because without you, there is no us, and the reason why we are here is because of you. And of course, thank you for the emails and concerns about what you want discussed here on the program. And of course, I get together with uh, my producer, Miss Yolanda Beach. Thank you, Yolanda. I couldn't do the program without you. And we uh, put our heads together and said, look, we got to get these people on because this is what the community wants to know. This morning, our topic of conversation will be about the DTV transition, the digital TV transition. What is that all about? Huh? What is, what is a converter box? What do you mean I won't be able to watch television without one of those things? And do I necessarily have to have cable? Do I necessarily have to have direct? Or, you know, not necessarily trying to plug anyone, but I remember television being around since the days of black and white. And now all of a sudden you got to tell me that my TV's not going to work anymore after February? As you say. And we know TV and radio is always in competition because we're always fighting for ratings. And that's just fact of life. You know, oh, I don't watch TV. Listen to the radio. However, if you so happen to want to turn on the boob tube or the tube, Something that is changing. Yeah. This morning, our guests include Metro Council Member Vivian Wilhoyt, Ms. Stacy Briggs, and also Mr. Whit Adams. Thank you so much. And of course, you and I had talked uh, prior to the program about getting this information out. Absolutely. Now, you, as along of being a Metro Council Member for D District 29, you're also a member of the National League of Cities Information Technology and Communications Committee. What is all that? Well, it is a national committee that is under the umbrella of the National League of Cities. And that, uh, the National League of Cities is a consortium of elected officials across the United States. Some of us serve on various committees uh, in order to create policies that we want to provide to the federal level so that we can have a better uh, local community, better local uh, city, and to provide these policies uh, as a way of saying this is what the people are talking about. These are the needs of the people. And so we're excited about it. I'm excited about being on the Information Technologies and Communications Committee. And one of the topics that we've been uh, talking about in ways to getting the information out is the DTV transition. Uh, not only have we talked about those that topic, we've also talked about broadband expansion. Uh, as far as infrastructure, as you know, that's one of the new administration's initiative is to expand infrastructure. You know, many of us see infrastructure as being streets and roads and sidewalks, but it's also in the area of communications. And broadband is one of those things that we're very excited that may be included. Um, but back to the DTV transition, that is a topic that we want to make sure that our constituents are very much familiar with so that they won't be in the dark when February the 17th come about. February 17th is a target date. Yes, February 17th, 2009. Right. And uh, I heard you say that you were doing a time of the black and white television. Yeah. And that was around about the 1950s, wasn't that right, Ernie? Uh, <laughs> what so are you I was born there. I don't know about that. Wasn't born. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, but God, bless, God bless my mother for me to be here today, and uh, I will say that this is probably going to be, on February the 17th, it's probably going to be the biggest thing that's ever happened in the television industry since the color TV. Right. So this is going to be something very important that we need to be prepared for, and I'm so glad that Whit and Stacey are here today to really expand on that. All right, well thank you so much, and let's talk to Mr. Whit Adamson, who is with the uh, Tennessee Association of Broadcasters, and good morning, uh, Whit Adamson, how are you doing, sir? Hey, I'm just doing fine. Thank you, um, Ernie and uh, Councilwoman uh, Vivian Wilhoy for having us in. Uh, this is very important, and uh, we, we think it's a, a real opportunity for your listeners, Ernie, to, uh, to to know what's going on. All right, we want to get to the bottom line, and also with us this morning is Miss Stacy uh, Briggs with the Tennessee Cable Telecommunications Association. Good morning, Miss Briggs. Good you? morning. All right. Thank you. Let's find out. Let's get to the bottom line here. What is going on? What is going on? I'll take that one. Yeah. Right. Uh, what is going on is um, we need to remind ourselves that uh, the United States of America has the finest communication system in, in the whole world. Um, and it started with radio and television and uh, free over-the-air broadcasting like this radio station is doing, supported by advertising. And uh, then uh, I heard Vivian uh, talk about broadband, and digital is obviously uh, synonymous with broadband, and they wanted the broadcasters to be able to compete, to do more and more things, uh, bring them to the, the mobile devices, 
and this is just a huge step. Now the committee that she sits on with the National League of Cities would be like a bottom up. She finds out what her constituents want and then it goes up to the to the bigger picture eventually possibly in Congress. Well, this worked the other way. It started from the top down and that's the only way. So who who bottom done. who bottom line made this decision to do this? Transition? Well it this has been going on for about twenty years and it okay. started out with obviously engineers that said we can do this and then it filtered down into the Congress and uh, there were uh, a lot of uh, lumps in the road and uh, then about Ten years ago, they started setting some deadlines, and then uh, here we happen up on February the 17th, and they said, this is when we're going to do it. And um, so all the uh, television uh, stations across the country, in conjunction with the associations like the Tennessee Association of Broadcasters and the National Association of Broadcasters, are uh, working to make sure everyone knows what's going on and what this process, although difficult by some measures, it's very simple. Uh, very inexpensive, and there are a few if, ands, or buts, and that's what we'll talk about today.